Hey Toy Fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome to Day 9 of my 13 Days of Halloween Video Review Series. If you're not familiar with the series I'm running or the contest that's associated with it, definitely check the link in the description below this video. But what we have here today is the Marvel Legends Galactus Wave first appearance Hulk figure released by Toy Biz in 2005. Now, pretty much everybody's familiar with who Hulk is. I mean, this character is broken through to the mainstream probably like no other superhero besides Spider-Man from Marvel. But what you may not know is in Hulk's first appearance, he was actually colored gray. As you can see here in Incredible Hulk number one, created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby from 1963. In that first issue of Hulk, Stan Lee was wanting a character who didn't show any particular ethnicity and really seemed like a monster. Uh, he, from the start, wanted to have sort of this Frankenstein slash Jekyll and Hyde creature that the reader would have to sympathize with. And they really just wanted an everyman type of character, so they decided to color the Hulk gray. However, by doing that, the coloring process was really difficult for the printers. So starting with issue number two, they went ahead and changed Hulk to green like we know and love him today. Let's go ahead and take a look at the painting and sculpting on this figure. All right, Spook fans, here we have this first appearance Gray Hulk up close. And as you can see, this particular figure, and even the way he was drawn back in the 60s, definitely takes his inspiration from Frankenstein's monster. He's got this flat top on his head here. He's got a very, very protruding large brow. And then he's just got the sort of boxy face and features that you expect from, you know, traditional drawings of Frankenstein's monster. And this Hulk figure looks absolutely great because of that. I'm also a big fan of the sort of green uh, accenting that they've done on the Hulk. As you can see, there's just very light green spray around this figure to kind of break up all those gray midtones. He's got some great muscular sculpt work here on, the, on his body. He's got this sort of hatching line work there to just kind of add some uh, definition to the muscles. And we've got that green spray everywhere else. And then you see the pants here. They are, do have the sculpted tears around the knees and around the waist. And they've got that denim texture sculpted in, which is all done very, very nicely. This figure's got some really large features, which are all sculpted very, very nicely, and it's just a really fantastic figure overall. Definitely a great representation of Hulk as he appeared initially in the comics. Now, while having a gray Hulk figure is really nice and accurate to the first issue, Toy Biz certainly didn't forget that Hulk turned green with the very second issue of his comic book. So at the same time that this gray Hulk figure was available, there was also a variant green Hulk figure that was a little harder to find, and was pretty much the exact same figure except for color, with one major exception, or minor depending on how you look at it. This green Hulk figure does have a different head sculpt. It's largely the same as what we got with Grey Hulk, but you'll see that this Hulk figure actually has his teeth being shown, and I think that's a nice touch, and really kind of makes this look like a classic Green Hulk figure, and an excellent addition to your collection. While Hulk didn't have any accessories that specifically pertain to him, he did come with this left arm of Galactus, the Build-A-Figure for the Wave, and this figure actually had some great paintwork and sculpting. I don't have the rest of the Galactus figure, unfortunately, to show you guys. And the other thing that this Hulk figure came with was a reprint of the aforementioned Incredible Hulk number one. And as you see here, this is the original cover for the comic. It does show the Grey Hulk on the cover. And inside is just a complete reprinting of that issue of Incredible Hulk. So a nice inclusion to have with this figure. Moving on to articulation, you can see that this Hulk figure does have a head that can look up about that far and look down very far. He does have a shoulder ball joint that allows his arm to rotate all the way around, as well as having a hinge that'll move his arm out from the body that far. He's got an upper bicep swivel that spins all the way around, as well as having a single jointed elbow that bends down that far and back that far. He's got a wrist swivel that spins all the way around. He does have some articulation on the hand that allows his hand to move up that far, down that far. He's got thumb articulation to allow the thumb to move out from the hand that far and in that far. He's also got independent index finger articulation. His finger can move back that far and forward that far. And then the last fingers on his hands here do close in that far and move back that far. And that articulation is copied on the other side. And as we take a look at the, uh, the torso here, we do have a diaphragm joint that'll allow the figure to bend forward that far, bend back just a little bit. It does rotate, but then we also have a redundant waist rotation here on the figure that spins all the way around as well. And then we have some ball joints at the hips that allow the leg to move forward that far, back that far, out from the body very far. He's got a double jointed knee that collapses in very or very nicely. And then he's got an ankle that'll bend back that far, forward that far. And there's no, not really a lot of ankle pivot, but it's there. And then he has toes that bend up that far and down that far. So excellent range of motion for such a big figure. And this articulation is identical to the Green Hulk figure you saw previously. First Appearance Hulk is a pretty decent sized figure. He comes in at right around 8 inches tall, and really we don't see figures this big anymore from Hasbro at least, unless they're Build-A-Figures. For some size comparison, here we have Hulk compared to the Build-A-Figure Arnim Zola from Hasbro. 
And compared to the Build-A-Figure Ultimate Green Goblin, which is largely a reuse of the Hulk Avengers movie figure, and compared to Build-A-Figure Terax from Hasbro, and compared to the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four box set Thing by Toy Biz, and compared to the Punching Hulk figure from the Ang Lee 2003 film, and finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Alright toy fans, well that's my review of the Marvel Legends Galactus Wave first appearance Grey Hulk figure released by Toy Biz in 2005. And overall, I'm a big fan of this Hulk figure. I really like the way that Jack Kirby originally drew the Hulk, and I feel like that's the classic look for the character. And having this Grey Hulk figure is really a nice addition to your collection. Doubly so if you can track down that Green Hulk figure, I stand by that as being one of the best Hulk figures out there on the market. Sure, articulation may have gotten just a little bit better over the years, but that really is just such a classic Hulk figure, and it's just one that you guys can't miss if you can find him. This Hulk figure also has a way of making me miss the days when you could get a larger scale Marvel Legends figure, and it didn't have to be a Build-A-Figure. Nowadays, it probably takes six or seven figures to be able to finish constructing this larger Hulk figure, and back in the day, all I had to do was go out and buy the one. Alright guys, well that's my review of the first appearance Hulk figure. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, and subscribe. Also, be sure to leave a comment in this video. Make sure you're entered into that contest where I'm giving away a Marvel Legend and some Disney Infinity prizes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check the link in the description below this video. Good luck to you guys, and we'll see you next time.